Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Good morning. I'm Candace. And this is Pip Dog. He does not have a mic. Pip, you got anything to say while I'm close to you? Okay, get the camera out of get my that face. Get the camera out of my face. I know. You yeah. don't like it. He does like his new office chair in the middle, centrally located. In the way. Well, <laughs> that's okay. P aimed over here so he can just look, open his eyes, and he can see, see his mommy right there. So that this chair is working out huh yeah i guess <laughs> i mean it's better than him like not liking it out here he seems to be okay now mm -hmm. <sighs> so what you got going on this morning box knives then what listing <laughs> same thing every day huh <laughs> <laughs> candace has uh i think seven seven box knife orders going out so thank y'all very much for continuing to support us by ordering those i really appreciate it hope y'all are finding them useful um I'm over here on my side well i was gonna say i've got 39 orders but now i have 40. somebody just ordered a couple more makeups so um kermit sold huh yeah kermit sold for 149.99 plus shipping on top and that's going out to uh well, there's a note with it here you want to read this note it's right here oh you have it there too okay. howdy y'all my husband and i are fans of y'all's from youtube we watch y'all just about every day and y'all's videos have given us a lot of great tips for our business we also have an ebay shop retro new market but this is for my personal collection and i'm so excited to get this as soon as I saw it on the video this morning, I had to check if it was available and was so happy to see if it was. Hope y'all have a great day. Best wishes from Texas. I knew it had to be Texas. With all, <laughs> by the third y'all, I'm like, okay, that might be Texas. That's Cur uh, Curry and Derek. <laughs> okay, thank thank y'all very much. Appreciate it. Hope you hope you like the Kermy. This one was pretty. Kermy. This is pretty. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think. I mean, the box is a little rough. But Kermit is like, he's in brand new condition, basically. Yeah, he's immaculate. Uh, and this thing is like, this thing is 40 years old. Mm-hmm. That's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing to me. Uh, sold a Battle for Mid Middle Earth PC game for $24.99. I think I cleaned the first disc only on this one in the, uh, in the disc, in the Eco Pro 2. Um, Sold a couple of these mummy figs. This one for $14.99, decapitated mummy. And then this other one for $19.99, Legionnaire O'Connell. So that was, whoa, don't knock them down. Here. Those are not on the same order, but the sales actually happen one right after the other. This makeup sold for $17.99. Uh, sold a Power Lords Psydot. I've never heard. Have you ever heard of this before? No, I haven't. How old is that? Mm, it's not as old as it looks. It's it looks on, like 70s to me. It's. I don't think it is. I think, let me see. Hmm, could be. I mean, it's it's Hong Kong. The packaging, the graphics and stuff look 70s to me. Yeah, maybe. Maybe early 80s. Yeah, it could be. I'm not sure. It's a rough box, huh? Yeah, it's a rough box. I wish the box was better. Um, yeah, I don't, 1982. Okay. That's about where I put it. 82, 83 is what I was thinking, but it could have been easily 79 or something. Um, sold a lot of Judy Moody books. And this is from Carrie. I look forward to y'all's videos every day. They are packed with lots of great tips that will help with my store found underscore depot. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you very much, Carrie. Appreciate it. Uh, these sold for $12.99 plus ship. These are part of, if you watch the garage sale video from Friday, uh, we bought a bunch of books at one garage sale and that was part of that. Uh, sold a comic book for $9.99, a Marvel triple action and a makeup for $17.99 and a transformer right here Starscream this is this is modern but the package looks old huh or is it just somewhat modern I don't remember. 2001 so yeah. it's like it's actually 20 vintage. years old 
This is no, I thought 25 was vintage. No, it's, it's I think it's 20. Everything I always I've ever, go by 25. I go by 20. Yeah. If you go on by 20, it does make you feel older though, because pretty much everything is made is vintage at that point. Well, for us. <laughs> <laughs> And then the last thing on this round, um, sold a set of I Survived books. It's like, yeah, it's 10 of them um, that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I actually sold all the books. So bought this set, this set, and I've got oh, two other sets. Two other sets back here. Or maybe the other set isn't. There's this set, and then there's another set four total sets that I bought for $30 and did pretty good on them. I think they all sold together for like 90 and uh, Candace can verify this. I think I listed them in what? Like, 10 minutes maybe. May, I think it was probably more like 15 to 20, but it was like a very short amount of time to okay. list all of them. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to start. I haven't always been on the lookout for books like that. But I, I just feel like that's something that you're going to see a lot of garage sales. Especially book whole, sets. like full sets, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. No, I'm not talking about individual books. I think no. that's... That can take up a lot of time, but if you see a full set and it's priced good... Or not, a, it doesn't even have to be a full set, just a lot of the same book. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. Let me get this stuff packed. We'll come back and look at another bench. We did get a, um, we got a nice card can. It's already opened it. You want to look at it? You didn't wait for me? No. I like the uh, artwork. We'll hang that on the door. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? Yep. You can read it out loud since I'm recording. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Candace and Lonnie. Happy ever after. What? Oh, happy campers, happy ever after. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Candace and Lonnie. Love watching your channel and wish you well in your new adventures. A fan, Sharon. Awesome. Thank you very much, Thank Sharon. You, Sharon. We'll put that... Yep. You can throw the envelope away and I'll hang this on the door right now. I really like the artwork. Find a good spot for it. Right there. Thank you, Sharon. Alrighty. Um, we also got some cool stuff from Pamela, which um, for like camping related, which I want to thank you, Pamela, publicly because she sent us like, she sent us a sign, right? And then she also sent us a... Um, the sign is in the camper. Sign's in the camper. We'll show that later. If you and actually, if you watched or will watch um, uh, the video of Lonnie packing on our last trip in the camper, you can see the sign. It's in the kitchen area. Yeah, and then she also um, sent us like a little log book thing. Or what yeah, would you call it, that? It's a, like a little camping journal. So there was a page and it has, you know, date, like where did you camp at? And just to, a little place to jot down memories of that trip. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, really cute idea. Yeah. And I lost the footage, uh, Pamela, whenever we opened that. So I apologize. But yeah, that is really cool. And some koozies. And some koozies. That's right. Mm -hmm. There was three things in there. Yep. But um, Candace has started a little tradition for every place we go now. Uh, she's we're buying like a sticker just like a vinyl sticker and we put it on the back of the uh on the back of the camper so yep. we're gonna have that thing real junky looking we're junking up the back of the camper with stickers <laughs> uh, but i don't really care like i i want like us or molly or whoever to you know to be able to look and say oh i remember when we got that you know yeah the only problem is what if we sell the thing in two years what do we do with the stickers then they go with the camper that will be kind of sad to get rid of the stickers. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Not have them at all? I don't know. Maybe, you know what we, you know what we could do? We could maybe? just cut off the back of the camper and keep it. I don't know. What, yeah, and hang it on the wall. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We got to figure, I, I want to figure something out because we only got a few stickers on there right now. There has to be something we can do. I don't know. You're being too sentimental for no reason. We're not even getting rid of it. Uh, we'll get rid of it probably within a couple of years, I imagine. Probably two, three you years. You ready for something bigger? No. I'm just, I just know how that works. Nobody stays with what they have for long. Uh, so anyways, let me get back to the order, the order talk in here. Uh, pull the next round. 
Beth bought a lot of 168 MLB Hall of Fame postcards at auction for $51. So thank you very much to Beth. Lori bought this um, Green Lantern fig. And we had some of these stands in a box. So Candace threw a stand in with it. <laughs> thank you very much to Lori. Uh, here's another one of those book lots. These two on top, well, three, I think were like ex-library copies. But then the rest of them are in really good shape. Like you see that one, Say Cheese and Die. <laughs> I've never read any of these books before. But th this is a stack of 15 Goosebumps books. Sold that for $29.99 plus shipping on top. And, oops, I was supposed to pull Magic Treehouse too. Let me go pull that now before I... I'll keep things in order that way. Also sold this stack of Magic Treehouse books. This is like, these books are small, but there's like, uh, I don't know, 30 of them or something here? Or no, 29? Yeah, t oh no, there's a, well, 29 Magic Treehouse books. It's missing one from the main series, but then it's got two others that are not in the main series. So, uh, oh, there's a note with this too. Oh, this is for Kyle. The Magic Treehouse books are for Kyle, uh, who said they're for his first grader. So thank you very much to Kyle. So these sold for 30. So basically the book buy, if you watch that, that garage sale video, I paid a lot for these books. I paid $30 total. I, I call it a lot for, you know, in garage sale terms anyways. Paid $30 total, sold 30, 30, and then what was it, like 13 and 15? So 28 and 60, $88 minus fees. Um, so you're probably looking at about $75 back uh, after fees on a $30 investment. Not the best, but honestly, I'll, I'll do that again. Like, it was pretty easy. Pretty easy little uh, $45 profit. I've worked harder for $45 before in my life. <laughs> so, um, sold this Harry Potter uh, fig, Ginny Weasley. It's a magical mini uh, to Caitlin. Thank you very much to Caitlin. Appreciate that. And Kyle, another Kyle, different Kyle, bought two of these Marvel's Greatest Comics for a total of $9.98. So they were $4.99 a piece. Thank you very much, Kyle. Sold a makeup for $26.24. Wow, that's a pricey little thing here. And then sold another makeup for $11.24 right here. Uh, sold this Transformers package art portfolio set. This was used. Um, I could tell it had been open before, but sold it for $16.99 plus shipping. This is a bat that we bought at garage sales this past weekend for $5 and got $29.99 plus shipping on top. It's going out to Rocco. Rocco, thank you very much. Hope y'all enjoy the bat. And yeah, that'll get shipped in um, one of those up there. And then the last thing on the bench is another mummy fig. This is Impaled Mummy. You stick that spear into his back, I think. Uh, that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, we are at the, uh, well, we're at the halfway point because I think I have 20 more to go. Uh, most of it is smaller stuff, though. This should go pretty quick. And um, I, d I have had, like, maybe five things sell since I started. So uh, probably looking at about 45 things going out today. Wasn't a huge sales day uh, money-wise, but pretty good um, volume of items anyway. So these are some cool um, Kenner's SSP Chrome Green Lake Special and Blackjack um, little cars. And you, they have pull strings, or not pull strings, these rip cords that would come with them. You rip it, and then they, they fly, they roll. So, uh, yeah, these actually are very collectible. Sold them both at auction together as one lot for $43 plus shipping. Elton bought this uh, Injustice Gods Among Us Collector Edition statue 
only. Uh, the statue was brand new. You could tell it had never been out. Thank you very much to Elton. Really appreciate that. Sold a makeup for $18.74. Another makeup for $16.49. Then Ryan bought this redhead camo hat. Brand new with tags for $9.99 plus shipping. Um, and he asked a question too. Are there more comics coming down the road? Uh, yes, for sure. Um, I've actually got like 12 more short boxes of comics now. Um, they're, I believe, unless something surprises me there, I believe they're all more modern type comics. Probably going to be lotting those up and probably lots of 54 comics at a time. Um, and I'll be working through that over the next few months. May start on that today, may start on that tomorrow because I'm doing a lot of packing here today. But yeah, those are definitely coming down the pipe. Thank you again for the, uh, buying the hat, Ryan. Sold this makeup for $26.24. Gary bought another one of these Marvel cards from 1966, uh, Don Russ. And this is, I told you to keep those pigeons out of my yard. It's Captain America on there. Thank you very much, Gary. Appreciate it. Then, um, Another makeup for $14.99, another makeup for $14.99, another makeup for $18.74. Makeup's selling pretty good this weekend. Um, this guy, Star Wars Black Series Captain Cassian Indoor Target Exclusive. This sold for $18.99 plus shipping on top, which is pretty good for a modern, small, smaller, loose figure like that. Sold this Mark McGuire. Um, Platinum Red for $10.99. This is from 1997. It's numbered out of 3999 So, I mean, it's somewhat somewhat limited, I guess. And uh, sold a makeup for $13.49. And then Kimberly bought two makeups um, by The Balm. And the, the shades, they, they all, the, all these companies, especially the newer ones, they try and do these catchy little uh, shade names. Uh, this one is called You Buy, I'll Fly. And this one is called If You're Rich, I'm Single. <laughs> so thank you very much, Kimberly. Let me get these packed. Oh, Candace is over here working on, these are cool. These are Aurora, uh, vintage Aurora books. Like catalogs. Yeah, catalogs. This is like a dealer catalog. That is cool. Man, that is neat. Yeah. Look at that. It's uh, slot cars from the 70s. Yeah, that is awesome. Yep. We saw a similar one that sold for 50 bucks. Like, it's one year earlier, right? One year later. Later? Are you going to try and get 50 for this one, you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, why not? And then we have a couple more. That's a Spanish one. That There is a comp for that one, though. And then we have this other one. That's just like a little pamphlet. Um, so I'm thinking maybe 10 on this. Cause it's just a two, like a. Yeah. Okay. So some fun little, some, some collector will be, uh, it might take a little while, but some collector will bite on that. Alrighty. Last round y'all sold some jeans. Um, 29 99 plus shipping on top for these Levi's here. Sold a makeup for 1874 free ship and sold this Buffy Battles uh, from the Marvel Versus System trading card game. Uh, this sold for $24.99. Free ship. This is going out to Faye. Faye, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Then sold three of these Jonathan Adler Clinique Cheek Pops for... That's going to total out to about $54. Free shipping for those. All in one order. And then last thing is another makeup for $19.99 free ship. All right, packages are mostly away. I have four stragglers over there that didn't quite make it out, but they'll go out tomorrow. What you working on, Candace? See you rescue G.I. Joe. What do you 1964. think? 1964. Wow. What do you think he's worth? Um, I hope I'm going to auction him open for about a hundred really yeah wow at first we thought he was the uh candace is going through this astronaut stuff here 
yep. space capsule suit, suit, boots, and helmet. They were all in the same box together, so I assumed he was an astronaut, but he's not. No, the astronaut is a blonde-haired fella, yep. and this is a what? He's a rescue guy. You said sea rescue. Yeah. Sea rescue. So I don't know. What What do you think that stuff's worth? Maybe Pro- not fifty. Oh, I think a little more, huh? You think? Yeah, I think it might be closer to eighty to hundred. But we'll find out. We'll let the auctions tell us, right? Yep. That's let fun. Let the experts set the price. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be an expert when you run an auction. <laughs> I'm uh I'm doing um my weekly sales now. I just did this one. I use this little cheat sheet. Anything that's been here thirty one well, anything that's been here 30 days or less, uh, listed 30 days or less, no discount. 31 to 90 days on eBay's site, 5%, 91 to 180, 15%, and so on, according to this chart. And then once they get over 540, then I make decisions on whether to um, donate or to do 60% off. Some stuff I might be willing, like if it's expensive stuff, I might say okay 60% off 70% off whatever is still worth selling and some other stuff it might be like okay I give up and I just give it away or something take it off the site so uh, the sales are working pretty well though I notice a big uptick in um, cosmetic sales in particular um, on Sundays like not too long before the sale is going to be over with i noticed that uh ebay must be pumping those those cosmetics out there in front of eyeballs because i noticed the sales are pretty high on that stuff so um anyway that's going to be it for today thank y'all very much for joining us we'll see y'all again very soon take care guys bye